Y'all ready for this? Honestly, never noticed that. Duly noted. So, hi. Hi. How are you guys doing? So, tomorrow's Valentine's Day, which I lovingly call Singles Awareness Day. And in honor of it, I wanted to talk about love. But no, I didn't, because I really want to shoot a lot of people on Singles Awareness Day, especially working in the restaurant. So I decided uh, I wanted to talk about something moderately closely related to love, kind of, in a strange sense. I'm going to make many women very happy and many men very uncomfortable. And I would say I'm sorry, but I try not to lie. So. In honor of tomorrow, can shoot Cupid in the head, um, I want to talk about the vagina. Yeah! Because again, it's, it's related to love. We all, we all enter this world through one. Every single person in this room, yeah, Jay's not here. I'm pretty sure he was in a test too, but. I love you, Jay. I do. Mwah. We miss you. Feel better, okay? Everyone entered this room, or entered this world through one. More than half of the people in this room have spent the rest of their lives trying to get back in one. Um, so, this is honestly, you know, one of the most important things in the world. The vagina, and it, the, the word seems uncouth somehow. But it doesn't get enough press, and it sure as hell does not get enough respect. Amen. Just bless its sweet little heart, it gets beat to shit. <laughs> and I wanted to write a rant. I wanted to write a rant in defense of our poor, wonderful, neglected, underappreciated, abused vaginas. And then I realized that it had already been written. So, courtesy of Eve Ensler, who, if you have never seen the Vagina Monologues, I recommend you find a production and go see it. I would like to present you with My Angry Vagina. <laughs> my vagina's angry! <laughs> it is! It's pissed off! It's, my vagina's furious and it needs to talk. It needs to talk about all of this shit. It needs to talk to you. I mean, what's the deal? An army of people out there thinking up ways to torture my poor ass, gentle, loving vagina? Spending their days constructing psycho products and nasty ideas to undermine my pussy. Vagina motherfuckers. All this shit they're constantly trying to shove up us, clean us up, stuff us up, make it go away. Well, my vagina's not going away. My vagina's pissed off and it's staying right here. Like tampons. What the hell is that? A dry one of fucking cotton stuffed up there. Why can't they find a way to subtly lubricate the tampon? As soon as my vagina sees it, it goes into shock. It says, forget it. You need to work with the vagina. Introduce it to things. Prepare the way. That's what foreplay is all about. You've got to convince my vagina, seduce my vagina, engage my vagina's trust. Okay. You can't do that with a dry wad of fucking cotton. Stop shoving things up me. Shut up. <laughs> stop shoving and stop cleaning it up. My vagina doesn't need to be cleaned up. It smells good already. Not like rose petals. Don't try to decorate. <laughs> Don't believe him when he, said, when he tells you it smells like rose petals when it's supposed to smell like pussy. <laughs> That's what they're doing, trying to clean it up, make it smell like a bathroom spray or garden. All those douche sprays, berry, floral, rain. I don't want my pussy to smell like rain. All cleaned up like washing a fish after you cook it want to taste the fish. That's why I ordered it. Yeah. 
Then there's those exams. Who thought them up? There's got to be a better way to do those exams. Why the scary paper dress that scratches your tits and crunches when you lie down so you feel like a wad of paper someone threw away? Why the rubber gloves? Why the flashlight all up there like Nancy Drew going up against gravity? Why the Nazi steel stirrups? Why? Why the mean, cold duck lips they shove inside you? What's that? My vagina's angry about those visits. It gets defended weeks in advance. It shuts down. It won't relax. Don't you hate that? Relax your vagina. Relax your vagina. Why? My vagina's not stupid. Relax so you can shove those cold duck lips inside it? I don't think so. Why can't they find some nice, delicious purple velvet to wrap around me? Lay me down on some feathery cotton spread, put on a pair of nice, friendly pink or blue gloves and rest my feet in fur-lined stirrups. Warm up the duck lips. Work with my vagina. But no, more tortures, dry water fucking cotton, cold duck lips, and thong underwear. That's the worst. Thong underwear, who thought that up? Moves around all the time, gets stuck in the back of your vagina. Real crusty butt. <laughs> Vagina's supposed to be loose and wide, not held together. That's why girdles are so bad. We need to move and spread and talk and talk. Make, uh, vaginas need comfort. Make something like that, something to give them pleasure. No, of course they won't do that. Hate to see a woman having pleasure, particularly sexual pleasure. I mean, make a nice pair of soft cotton underwear that, with a French tickler built in. <laughs> Women would be coming all day long, coming in the supermarket, coming in the subway, coming happy vaginas. They wouldn't be able to stand it. Seeing all those energized, not taking shit, hot, happy vaginas. If my vagina could talk, it would talk about itself like me. It would talk about other vaginas. It would do vagina impressions. It would wear Harry Winston diamonds. No clothing, just there, all draped in diamonds. My vagina helped release a giant baby. It thought it would be doing more of that. It's not. Now it wants to travel. It doesn't want a lot of company. It wants to read and know things and get out more. It wants sex. It loves sex. It wants to go deeper. It's hungry for depth. It wants kindness, it wants change. It wants silence and freedom and gentle kisses and warm liquids and deep touch. It wants chocolate. It wants to scream. It wants to stop being angry. It wants to come. It wants to want. It wants. My vagina. My vagina, well, it wants everything. Thank you, guys.